Hi artists. We're going to be working on a drawing of a locker today. And it's not going to be just any locker, but it's going to be a locker that's all about you. So you're going to need a piece of paper that's about the size of the paper you would put into a printer. Um, it could be a little bit bigger, or a little bit smaller, just a piece of white paper. You're going to need a pencil. You'll need some crayons or markers and colored pencils. Um, I like to use markers to outline and crayons to color in, but if you don't have that and you do have colored pencils, you could use colored pencils to outline and color in or use a combination with the crayons. Let's get started. Our first step is to make sure that our paper is turned vertically. That means up and down. And then we're gonna fold our paper in half the long way, like this. And smooth it down. And then you're gonna open it back up. This side will be the inside of the locker. This side will be the door for your locker. We're gonna take our pencil and we're going to draw a line from the left side. We're going to go down maybe about an inch or a tiny bit over an inch. We're going to draw a straight line from that edge to the middle and stop. If you want to, a little trick that I use sometimes is I'll use a piece of cardboard or even the edge of a box and I can use that to draw my straight line if I don't have a ruler. So for example, I could line this up where I wanted it and then use it to lean my pencil against. We call it a straight edge. On this side, we're gonna take this spot here and draw a line all the way up to the corner. So I can actually use my box right now for that. I can line it up take my pencil and draw my line like that. I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. I'm going to go up a little ways, maybe about an inch or so. I'm going to draw a line straight across to the middle and stop. And then from the middle to this corner, I'm going to angle it down and I'm going to draw my line. Right here in the middle, I'm gonna draw a straight line that comes down and it stops right about there. This will be the inside of your locker and this will be the door that's open. We drew it on an angle so it looks like it's open in front of us. Now, you might notice that I'm drawing a lot darker than normal. I'm pushing harder with my pencil so you can see it in the video. You're gonna to wanna to draw really light until you have it right, meaning how you want it. Um, you can always go back over and darken your pencil lines. Up here at the top, you're going to put your name. You can use bubble letters, block letters. You can use any type of fancier lettering you want. If you um, start over here on this side, you wanna think about how long your name is so you can figure out how much room you're gonna need. You can do just your first name or you could do first name, last name, it's up to you. So I'm gonna do, I'll do my, um, I'll just write Miss Unger. So I'm gonna work on some lettering here. A little trick that I use sometimes, if there's a letter that I'm having a hard time with, the, for example, these are block letters, if I'm having a hard time with that, what I can do is I can first draw it lightly, and then I can draw around that too, and I can create my letter
Then what I would do is I would go back in and just erase the little line on the inside. And there I have a little black letter U. Um, if I want the S to be a little bit more like a black letter, not quite so curvy, I can go back and just use some straighter lines. And then I can follow along that edge to make it look like an S. And then I'll wanna finish up my other letters. You don't wanna make them too, too big because we wanna be able to put quite a bit on our locker. But you wanna be able to see it. Whoop, that one's a little tall, but that's okay. I can always go back and change it if I want to. Now, sometimes lockers have stickers in them. I know that you might not be allowed to do that at school, but we're gonna pretend like this is a locker that you can put stickers in or magnets and things like that. So to make this look more like a sticker, I can actually draw a shape around it, maybe an oval or maybe a rectangle, and I can make it look a little bit more like it's a sticker. Usually in lockers, there will be vents on the door. The vents let air in and out. So we're gonna draw some little lines that go across on an angle, an angle or a diagonal, because remember our door is open and we're following the line of this so that it looks a little bit more real. And I drew four lines. Um, you could do four, you could do five. It's really up to you. Maybe I'll draw five. I like an odd number. And then we're gonna go down towards the bottom. And if we drew five lines here, we're gonna draw five lines here. And what might be easier is to go up just a little ways from the bottom and then start your first line. One, two, three, four, five. And if it's hard for you to draw straighter lines, mine are a little wobbly, um, you can use a ruler, you can use the edge of your marker or crayon box. You can even use an edge of a piece of cardboard and it will act like a ruler. Now, we're gonna come up with some other designs that we want on the door of our locker. Um, you can also add other things you might find in a locker, like a mirror. Um, some, a mirror could be a round shape. It could be a rectangular shape. I'm gonna draw a little locker mirror here. And I'm gonna just add a few little lines here for the shine. You could even draw a little picture of yourself in the mirror as if you were looking into it. And I'm gonna add little lines around it so it looks like a little frame. And then you're gonna think of some things that represent you, some symbols that represent who you are. Now, I love art and I can think of quite a few symbols that would relate to art. I might wanna make something like maybe a rainbow because I like to use a lot of color in my artwork. So I can think about a sticker that would kind of look like a rainbow and I could draw that on this side and if I wanna make it rainbow color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. I could um, add little clouds if I wanted to. And again, to make it look a little more like a sticker, I might wanna draw a little shape around it like that. And then I'm also going to think of some other things down here. I love to read, so I could draw a little open book. Maybe it would be a sticker of a book. And I'm just using straight lines. And I could put a title on the book if I wanted to. I could make it look like there's pages inside the book by just drawing a couple little curvy lines and some little lines. And then I could also draw a little shape around it. So again, it looks like a sticker. 
Um, I love art, like I was saying, so I might want to even write the word art in fancy letters or something about art.